Hi, everyone. Let me introduce myself. I am Dr. Ashur Rawat, MBBS Abroad Specialist. And you are in the right place if you want to build successful career in medicine. Hello to everyone. And hope you are enjoying lockdown. And uh, every day you are learning something new. And as I see, there are lots of attendees were today. Uh, they are waiting already and uh, it means that uh, you want to really learn something about abroad mbbs okay that's why i came today one minute ago earlier and we will shortly we'll start because we have today more than 40 45 attendees in webinar okay i have some questions uh, there's a Good afternoon. Uh, hello, Ashtosh. Hello, Presha, Maria, Julius. Good afternoon. I hope you all are hearing me. Can you answer, please? Yes or not? Are you all hearing me? Okay, okay. So, guys, without wasting any time, let's start with the webinar because as compared to uh, my live session on YouTube. Here I will share with the important information about the MBBS abroad, country-wise, university-wise, fees, and the package, and the respective interest airport, their location in the world map. Let's start. So, so today uh, we will discuss about uh, study MBBS abroad 2020 is Ukraine. It's about Russia, it's about Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan, Georgia, America. I have a poll. Please click yes or no on these questions. Is this your first time to attending a uh, first time attending one of my of our webinars? My webinars. Okay, Aditya, I will surely tell uh, uh, tell you about uh, Ukraine just after this poll. Okay. Okay. Okay, first time. Okay, most of you are attending first time. Okay, guys. Seventy-seven percent voted already. So I will stopping my poll here. I got your point. Seventy people percent people are new. Thank you who are reattending my webinar. 30%, I think so. I see lots of no name here. They are reattending my webinar. It means that they are uh, every time they are coming with some questions, and it is a good uh, use of time that you are preparing every week your questions like a homework and giving to me. Yeah, so I will come next Monday also at the same time the webinar. So let's start with the uh, study MBBS 220. I want to elaborate the questions coming in your mind before choosing a study MBBS abroad university before going abroad. First of all, the first question that the lack of uh, genuine information on the net. Due to this, people's are uh, uh, people's are not uh, taking uh, a good decision to choose the medical university. I can say the first, the main thing is lack of genuine information. Second thing, you have only single source of information like your consultant or agent where you what you refer for your admissions. Second thing, how to contact the students in abroad so that they can give you the real review of that particular university. How to choose the right university and the best university in your budget. Your friends are criticizing you that you are going to abroad like countries like Russia, Ukraine, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, Georgia and USA. Why? These all questions are coming to you. Your parents have the fear of uh, you have parents have the fear that uh, you will not uh, that they, they can be a, a part of scam or some fraud that agent take the money and will not send you. So we will describe all these questions today with the university. I will answer all this question and the main thing how to find a best medical institution for you in abroad 2020. So guys stay tuned with me. I have lots of information today for you to describe with you and give you step-by-step -step guidance how to choose a right and best medical industry for you in your budget okay let's start how to prepare yourself studying examine recommendation guys first of all germany is also available i will tell you few points uh, i'm germany and i will explain you that why germany you should opt for pg 
after doing MBBS in countries like Ukraine, Georgia, Philippines, and other countries. Okay, I will. Uh, yes. Okay. So examine the documentation. Today we have a seminar about MBBS about 2020. First, examine your documents. For example, in order to get admission in any uh, abroad MBBS university, you should have for general category physics, chemistry, biology uh, subjects in aggregate more than 50 percentage, and English is the compulsory subject. For uh, ST, SC, OBC, you should have in physics, chemistry, biology are the compulsory subjects and 40% above in order to take exam, uh, admission in any abroad medical university and English is compulsory. And the main thing, what in 2018 government implemented that you should qualify NEET. For example, last year in 2019, the NEET qualification marks was 134 general and 117 for 117 marks for ST, SC, and OBC. So this year I'm accepting as lots of students got uh, registered in need to turn in more than 15 lakh people. So this year, the uh, this percentile, 50 percentile will come for qualifying marks in out of 720 will come. Uh, 150 for general, I'm expecting, and 130, 134 for ST, SC, and OBC, guys. Okay, set your goal and reach it. I want to tell you one thing set your goal. Your goal is to become a medical doctor. Your goal is to become a skilled and professional doctor. Your goal is to become a very good and very professional doctor. So set in your mind, you have to become a doctor. That's why there are lots of ways to become a doctor nowadays. For example, you will go, you will go through me. You fight competition in India, you get your seat in India in budget or in contract. You will try you will try to get the hard or uh, 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 merits and marks. For example, in 2019, uh, people with 500 marks got the admission in private college. But the donation, as your merit goes down, like you have 700, okay, you get the government and budget seat. You have less number, you have to go for private with less budget. The less number you have in need, guys, to keep in mind, the less, the more you have to pay in uh, as a donation or as a fees, doesn't matter what private institution tell to you. But the good news is that the need is the single platform in order to take admission all over India including Jimper in, in AIMS also. From this year, NEET is a single platform in order to take admission in all India or medical institutions. So guys, please work hard first in order to get the need. And for the for your information, for your kind information, I want to inform you that 26th July, government has decided to take NEET examination in India. 26th of july guys 26 july you have to prepare still you have two months you can revise your all three subjects and you can give need 2016 and i'm wishing you good luck to fight this need and get good marks rank so that you will get seat in india near to your family near to neighbor we have lots of options in abroad lots of options we have in abroad you can get you can easily get admitted there okay and before going to any country you have to explore the country there are lots of sources to explore the country. I'm giving you step-by-step -step guidance how to choose best university, medical university for you. Guys, please listen carefully. In, if you choose, for example, Ukraine or Georgia, you have lots of sources in order to explore the country about the peoples, about the mentality of the peoples, about the university infrastructure, about the students are studying there from India already in senior courses, about the uh, relation of that country with Indians, about the presence of Indian embassy in that country, in uh, if in order to feel safe there, so there are lots, there, there are lots of sources in order to explore the particular country. If you go, on, if you want to go abroad, for example, Google, you will just in uh, YouTube, you can you can see lots of videos uh, from tourist blogger, from the students, from the consultant, from the agents. You can you have vast resources. To explore any country and come to the point so before doing any decision of whether it is ukraine whether it is germany whether it is uh, uh, whether it is uh, uh, whether it is uh, any other country you can explore easily country through the web sources and the peoples do not afraid of language barrier guys do not afraid of any kind of language barrier i will tell you because language barrier is nothing new nowadays if you're living in north india or you're living in south india if you travel to north india if you travel from south india to north india north india south india you will also facing uh, this language barrier but somehow you're managing it through the application nowadays through some programs any days but most of the people knows english language in india the same is these countries also lots of the people 
are talking in their native language but they can speak also in english but the medium of the uh, but i will say so to choose the university who has the medium of uh, study is english medium because most of the university in abroad giving liver bilingual courses or giving english medium or giving courses in their native language so in order to get you know to uh, why to go for bilingual why to go for an, uh, that local language university if you have very vast varieties and number list of uh, universities where you can get directly in the ad in admission in the english medium course okay communicate with the students and find feedback i will say to this question will answer you lots of things see in my personal experience students 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 are who are already studying in the uh, who are already studying in uh, this foreign abroad university medical especially they're very keen to suggest and give a very fruitful a very right uh, feedback about the country about the university you want to choose so it's a very easy medium to get the real review how to find the students it's a very big question i will tell you very simple step go to your facebook page search on the name of that particular university for example kharkiv national medical university in ukraine for example kiev medical university in ukraine you will find lots of profiles and from that profile you can select students who are studying third year fourth year you can interact many of them and believe me they will give you the real review of the study process about the medium about the teachers about the infrastructure about the agency they came through about the local guardian and about anything you want to ask them and believe me do not shy they are always happy to give you a uh, good feedback because they already traveled through go, go, went through this they gone through this already and they know uh, so more thing more real than any agents will tell you so in future you will have two or three sources uh, in order to get a feedback from any university for example first is uh, you the students for studying that university you can easily find now i hope i will tell you facebook instagram you can easily find them third thing because students are tagging uh, with these photos or this with the university name also second thing you consultant and third thing obviously a mentor or influencer or a specialist uh, who are usually uh, uh, coming on youtube facebook uh, i'm publishing lots of material so that you can have idea before choosing the right university so guys do not forget to subscribe my youtube channel that is leader education uh, before going abroad because you may have lots of information before uh, to choose the university in order to choose the best medical university in abroad so do not forget to subscribe the youtube channel okay guys let's go further learn the laws and regulation in the country guys before going any country you should know the laws and regulation the rules and regulation of the particular country because it's very it's very important is very important to uh to learn the rules and regulation of that particular country because maybe the country not suits you as per your religion maybe that country is not suits you as per your uh likes as per your wishes for example uh uh like so before going there uh but, but the countries i'm recommending you almost all countries are all countries are uh the democratic countries so they have rules and regulations are similar like india but peoples are more uh um, sensitive to some things like not not littering or some things you know or uh, accidents or some kind of uh, car driving rules you know most of the country i'm telling you they are left hand drives not right hand drive like in india so guys be aware to have a idea of laws and regulation of this particularity you are choosing because before going that it may help you for example how they will help you this laws and regulation for example you have to learn about the customs and immigration rule of that particular country you are going to and you have lots of you will find lots of videos on youtube that what you have to say in front of immigration officer and customer officer if you are traveling from india and then you are landing arriving to that country your uh, country you choose to study for mbbs abroad okay guys so be aware to uh, in order to set your goal you have to learn all these questions you have to explore all these questions you can take photos of these things and easily you can uh, believe me after getting these points the strong points you will have a better idea to in order to choose any country any country in foreign 
any country in MBBS abroad in your budget. Okay, let's go fast uh, further. I will told you that needful documentation need need. I am repeating those who just attend just, 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 just for those who just came. Okay. For example, in order to qualify, uh, in order to qualify, need in order to qualify for a university in abroad admission, you should must know the admission criteria of that university. Believe me, every university in foreign have its own personal criteria. Doesn't matter on the Ministry of Education directions or not. Every country and every university has its own admission criteria. Is depending it's easy or it's hard. Okay, but you should know that you should must have need you you should have qualified need before choosing any country before uh, choosing any country you should qualified need do not th listen to any kind of agent or consultant who is saying i can help you to make your admission done in mbbs abroad without need you must have qualified need before choosing any country second thing before going to particular country okay you choose the country you choose the, you choose the university we're going please ask with the students they are studying or the consultant or you can write directly to the university email interest department i can share with you later uh, any university that what is the admission criteria uh, rather than you have to provide need qualified mark sheet and the mark sheet with pcb in your 12th marks you have to give some examination in that particular university so before going you have to uh, concrete about this information from the agent from a consultant or the students for example in russia most of the university taking examination of english language in ukraine most of the countries are taking examination uh, of english language physics chemistry biology and in georgia before going they are uh, taking a skype interview before going to georgia they are taking a skype interview interview uh, of you before doing any kind of process so guys be in your mind and in Kazakhstan, only three or four universities are taking a general examination. So it will be better for you to uh, well being prepared in uh, earlier stages uh, and uh, have information about this admission criteria of the university. Uh, uh, because once you release there, you already spend a lot of money in your visa, in your tickets, in your interviews, in your packing, everything. And you came there and you be maybe a part of scam that your agent didn't told you who you will blame don't worry we have exit of all this kind of decision if in my personal science in my personal uh, guidance in half an hour half one hour i can choose for your best medical university but guys but you have to know about the right admission criteria so that not to be a part of this you can easily contact me and i will tell you which university has which admission criteria after you choose the university so you have to first choose the country you have to first choose the university then come to me i will tell you what is the admission criteria of that university okay before spending a single penny before getting admission you should must have this, all this information guys my information i think so you are getting clearly and uh, i have this vision for you so that i because it's my mission to help you to get near to your dream to become a mbbs doctor okay guys so if you like my information you can say yes okay and soon we will come to this uh, about the question answer guys let's go further explore ukraine okay who was asking about ukraine Adite. Adite, yeah okay ukraine it's a very wonderful country it's now in today modern uh, there's lots of implementation of modern technology in Ukraine, in Ukrainian medical university, like centers. People are very happy to see Indian students here. University, most of the university have totally English medium. They have six year MD physician course. The culture in the country is similar to India because Ukraine is coming under Eurasian continent, Euro, Europe and Asia. So somehow the culture you also find, find, um, uh, find very good. People are friendly. The temperature are very moderate because as Ukraine is situated in the south of Europe, you will find temperature conditions similar like to India. But guys, as other country, uh, Ukraine is not that much cold as compared to Russia or Georgia. But Ukraine is in south of Europe, so Ukraine has in winter, January, February, March, you will find a temperature of minus five, minus six. Okay, so be ready for that. But in the classroom, in the hostel, in the premises, 
they have uh, they had uh, maintaining the temperature up to 28 up to room temperature so you will not find any uncomfortableness while studying so guys you can use the good options and the geographical location allow you to be a part of europe and asia and enjoy this both cultures plus students in ukraine get easily schengen visa and instead of coming to home in winter holidays or in summer holidays they can easily travel to european countries as a tourist in order to survey about the universities and medical universities and pg degrees in germany and france because it's very easy to get schengen visa in ukraine for indian students because ukraine citizen have visa free regime with european countries and borders are lying i will tell you later the nature of the ukraine is very wonderful so guys if you want to, if you are have a uh, idea for ukraine so go and explore this country and i believe you will find very good medical university in your budget and better packages you couldn't have more than 25 medical universities we are in present indian students studying in very big quantity i will tell you how many students will study in ukraine in my next slide in upcoming slides i will tell you the exact number of students studying in the ukraine nowadays Let's go further. Hi, Naresh. How are you? Happy to see you here. Okay. Uh, can you explain about Kazakh medical? Can you explain? Yes, I will explain for Kazakh also. Okay, I will explain in my question and sessions. Okay. So, why main reason why should uh, Ukraine? Okay, I already explained this uh, Ukraine, Ukraine Indian Embassy also. Let's go for it. This is the map of the Ukraine, guys. This is the map of the Ukraine. You can see easily i indicate for you for that is really easy for you these cities like kiev odessa lviv and kharkiv and bukovina chinnasi vinisa where you will uh, see this red spot here you will find medical universities where indian students are studying presently but the most popular hub for indian students nowadays is kiev capital because Kiev has direct flight from Kiev to New Delhi to Mumbai and any other part of India and uh, sorry 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 oh, sorry 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 just wait yes and Kharkiv is also a very good destination because it's a metropolitan city this is Kharkiv metropolitan city and Kharkiv have two university Kiev has two university and the third is Odessa both three of this city including this Lviv have international airport plus the university nearby Odessa is Black Sea University. It's not shown here. It's a very good also university. Odessa also have two universities. Okay. Kharkiv also have three universities. Chinnasi have one university. Chinnigiv one university. And Kiev has three universities. Okay. This is Kiev National Medical University. O Bagamoles. This is Taras Sitchenko. Kiev National University. And Kiev Medical University. UAFM. It's a private institution. Odessa have two university for example Odessa national medical university and Odessa international school of medicine and the third one is black sea national medical university guys so this is the popular destination in ukraine if you want to travel ukraine for study this kiev kharkiv Odessa, lviv and nowadays emerging destination for students who want uh, not metropolitan city and in the budget it is venisa venisa national medical university okay guys and Ternopil, this is so I will tell you some name. Please remember Kiev, Kharkiv, Odessa, Vinisa, Lviv, Ternopil, and this Ushgorod, Ternopil, and Chinnasi are the famous destination for the Indian students. I will tell you why. Odessa is for the coastal areas. Kiev is the capital, and this part of the Ukraine is lying nearby to European countries like Poland, Romania. Slovakia, Hungary, Belarus. So, guys, from Lviv, it, there's a 50 kilometer border of Poland. You can easily travel in car or in bus if you have Schengen visa from that, for, to that part of the uh, country and explore European countries while you're studying. So, why I'm saying that uh, people who are going abroad for MBBS are the main power of India because, as compared to IIT, IITs are studying in India, but grabbing from other multi companies to other countries but guys you are going abroad you are getting personal development in european exposure and professionals and you're coming back to india to serve your nation so guys 
here you are coming back up india lot kya rahe up india lot kya rahe knowledge lekar exposure lekar up india ko aage bada rahe so guys so so in most of the time this is happening so uh, please think before choosing yourself ukraine is that's why ukraine is the popular hub for this medical institution so let's go further this is the quantity quantity of indian students studying in 2018 75000 interest students are studying in ukraine from 154 countries i'll tell you most of them students are 19 percent of uh, are students from india so major population students interest students studying in uh, ukraine in medical faculties are of india so please guys think this point uh, in your mind before choosing any country okay see the number of indian students in ukraine presently is up to 14000 up to 15000 students are studying in this ukraine okay 15000 students are studying in ukraine 15000 students are studying in ukraine nowadays okay guys let's go further most of the students are studying in medical education see 14684 students out of them are studying in medical education okay let's go further best three best cities of ukraine are kiev first this is the key so you have idea where you will go for study key third is second is idsa you will see this is the second university second very uh popular decision for study is idsa and third is kharkiv these are cities you can uh, uh, easily study there okay now we are uh, i am telling the condition education of ukraine the term of study in ukraine you know to get mbbs degree or md fiction degree is six years the average class start from eight o'clock to four o'clock every day the working week consists of 56 hours out of that 36 hours are of uh, learning classes and 18 hours is of practical classes okay guys so there is an exam twice a year so this is the condition of education in ukraine guys so before choosing ukraine please keep in mind are you okay with the study pattern or it's not hard for you so it also matter before choosing any country or any destination so guys this is the condition of education in ukraine thank i want to tell you that i won't tell you it further in my, further in my uh, presentation webinar today i will tell you the information about next what is next okay before it was fmge foreign medical graduate examination once you come back to india when you come back to india you have to give this fmg but from 2022 you have to give next and what is next i will give you idea because it will consist if you will get admission in the in indian medical college on abroad doesn't matter you have to give this next okay okay guys let's go further this is the medical university you can choose in the ukraine as per my criteria this is a good university uh, my criteria for to choosing this university depend on the quantity of indian students are studying there quantity of uh, good reviews students are giving of this university and most university are in the budget of the indian students so please make photo of this uh, screen or may, uh, please learn this university or make photo you have a vast uh, option in you in ukraine so that you can choose any university out of this university as a medical as a future university where you study because cities are good students are uh, learning there and discipline university are discipline and uh, students have good feedback and here you will find in every of the university more than six to seven hundred indian students are studying currently in this university the first the first number is kharkiv national medical university has the vast number of indian students are studying in second is kharkiv national university vn karazin then lviv national medical university then odessa national medical university then dnepro medical academy zaporozhye state medical university thermopil state medical university Ivano Frankiv National Medical University, Kiev Medical University of UAFM, Kiev Bagamoles National University, Venisa National Medical University, Odessa Medical Institute of Odessa National Humanitarian University, Petro Magila Black Sea National University, Kiev National University, Taras Sevchenko, Ujgarat National Medical University, Sumi National Medical University, Paltava National Medical University, and Bukovania State Medical University. Guys, make photo of this list. It will help you to make uh, in future, make your decision. Now, 
I am coming to the main information. Some of the students already asked to me budget of this university. So let's guys, this is the budget of the university. You can see easily this Adesa National Medical University budget, and this is International Humanitarian University, Adesa Medical Institute, Kharkiv National Medical University. Karazin, uh, VN Karazin Kharkiv National University, Kharkiv International Medical University, Kiev Medical University, Taras Sivchenko National University, Bagamoles National Medical University, Dineva Petros State Medical Academy, Petro Magila Black Sea National University, Zaporozhye State Medical University, Lviv National Medical University, Vinisa National Paragovernment University, Paltava State Medical University, Ujgarat National University, Ternopil State Medical University, Sumi State Medical University, Bukovina. So it's been a very hard to collect all the information. I can tell you literally about every university okay so guys okay you send pattern in ukraine i will answer you just after this uh, package okay so this is the uh, package of 2019 because 2020 package not yet published so you can see the packages of this university for example uh, the uh, cheapest university and the best university in my concern i will propose you black sea national university so the cheapest university in ukraine the first year package that include the hostel and uh, registration fees admission fees everything is six six thousand two hundred usd excluding the expense of food and living uh, foods okay food and uh, tickets but in most of the uh most of the uh, consultancy agents are giving two-way or one-way ticket uh, in the first year okay so i include all this expenditure in this 6200 usd is you have to spend once you reach ukraine and the uh, total budget of study in this university is 17 lakh 92 000 uh, i'm interrupting you this calculation we uh, i did on the base of last year calculation 70 rupees but uh, nowadays the uh, nowadays the usd exchange rates are different so you have to calculate accordingly so write down better in your mind 25600 usd is the package of six year you have to spend in black sea national medical university excluding excluding of your food and livings and everything other things okay this uh, this package includes your fees your hostel fees and your insurance every year okay the costliest the costliest uh, university you will find in kharkiv and kiev that is you can see the package 7850 usd for the first year including your hostel university fees admission charges okay and the total fees that includes uh, fees package including first year package is 20 31000 usd that is 22 lakh 29000 rupees for kharkiv you have to spend this package the, does not include the uh, the foods hostel and insurance you have to pay guys i have an update for ukraine from this year all medical university ukraine are giving you six year temporary residence permit in the form of the passport okay guys so uh in order to take this trc you have to buy six year insurance it's a newly recently update for example before you have to pay only for one year insurance now you have to pay once you reach extra for five years insurance like six year insurance for example uh, before it was 100 uh, 150 usd insurance now, now you have to pay for six year about 800 to 1000 usd for six year insurance in order to get that trc temporary residence permit in ukraine guys so i'm going further okay Before starting uh, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, I have question, few questions for Ukraine. Uh, a US family pattern in Ukraine. Uh, I can say you, Paul, that Ukraine is strictly following the US family pattern uh, for the students because lots of my, even my graduates also, who already passed long ago of my course mates in present a practice in, U in, uh, in USA. And uh, as per US assembly, in, if you are studying in Ukraine, you are eligible to give US assembly first step or clinical knowledge uh, after you finish your second year. Like in third year, you can apply. Once you reach in fourth year, you can easily give that US assembly uh, exam first step and general uh, US assembly clinical knowledge exam first step, uh, first step in Ukraine. First two step you can give in Ukraine in your fourth year. And after finishing degree, you can easily get visa to USA and go for two, three years for clinical rotation in USA on your own expenses. And after this, you will, if you pass this clinical skill step three examination, you will uh, get, uh, you, you will awarded with the PG degree and you will award it with the very good package. So this is a pattern of Ukraine, uh, USMD pattern in Ukraine. And 
you have uh, uh, for your kind information for US assembly first two step like US assembly one and general knowledge step all examination are of uh, 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 online basis and uh, per exam will uh, the duration of, of our, uh, examination is eight hours okay and it consists uh, and there's a lots of parts in this uh, lots of parts in uh, this examination like every part consists of 40 questions okay and I will tell you now even that which books i am recommending to my students for u.s assembly doesn't matter if you are studying in georgia you can obviously georgia is the best destination if you want to go usa but you can is also a second option if you want to go to usa through u.s assembly so do not hesitate about uh, u.s assembly ukraine you can easily come to ukraine and get prepared for uh u.s assembly some other people some other uh, some sort of student give me information about uh, uh germany yeah uh, please tell me about ukraine syllabus see syllabus of ukraine uh it's not uh differ it's not as different different with the syllabus of medical university in india they are strictly following the international guidelines syllabus system what recommended by who what recommended by world directory of medical schools what recommended by international organization like famer foundation of advancements in uh, medical research and medical education research and education so these universities which are recognized who medical council of india famer and world directive medicals are following the same pattern of ects electronic credit system ects so uh, this this system like you have medium of study in india like cbsc board icsc board up board ncrt board so ncrt yeah so they have a similar pattern like we are saying in ukraine Balona process. This concept ECTS. This process, this medium is maintained, is studied, uh, like uh, followed by most of the all universities in all of the world. That's why there is no such difference in the degree. Germany not available. Uh, Germany not available, sir. Okay. Germany uh, for guys who uh, I want to ask Germany. I'm not including Germany because Germany is too expensive for to, to study. Uh, to study uh, this. Uh, uh, MBBS because the cost of living is very costly in Germany. So in my session, and a lot of students are doing already practice. We already have successful cases. They are doing their PG, their MBBS, MD patient degree in Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, in Ukraine, Georgia. Then parallelly, they are uh, preparing for the uh, language examination of German because Germany is not uh, German. Uh, German uh, universities are not taking any kind of screen examination of medical knowledge. Just, they are they just not want to be confirmed that you know their local language in which language you have to you will treat their patient. Okay, so these all universities in Ukraine, Georgia are treating this uh, uh, the, as uh, give, uh, studying uh, student in ECT system the same system followed by Germany. So better to study in uh, Ukraine or G Georgia because. The availability of German classes are more in Ukraine and uh, more in Ukraine as compared to Georgia or Kazakhstan. You can easily parallelly study German language and clear your B2 level in Ukraine itself, then get easily Schengen visa and travel to explore your university. So I'm recommending first you finish if you those who want to go Germany, come to Ukraine first, get the admission first course. From second course, start taking the uh, classes of German language, clear up to fifth year B2 level. You have lots of chances, lots of cities. Have this courses certified courses you can give examination in your city in ukraine also and then heading for uh, germany for pg because in pg you will get the money house house allowances and some kind of work so it will be easy for you to get in germany after mbbs only okay guys any other question about ukraine guys mbbs in maria uh, ukraine do you represent in any university in america americas for medicine see uh I am not representing any university, guys. I am an influencer. I am MBBS abroad specialist. I have the information. I am traveling. I am vlogging. I have the information of this university. I through my information, uh, my information maybe uh, can help you to make your future bright in medicine. So, guys, listen to me. We, I can represent uh, any university because uh, I know every people working there and university staff because I already travel there. I know the things, the systems. So I can, my my purpose in through this webinar is to guide you through uh, through uh, the information in order to, you will take, uh, you will take a right decision in choosing your best medical institute for your future and for future career. American University, somehow it was quite popular in, 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 uh, in the past, but uh, uh, for example, Caribbean, uh, there's not American. There's American, but not USA. Do not uh, 
confused with American and uh, Caribbeans. Okay, so they have the same study pattern, five-year course. The package is similar to Georgia, about 30 lakh rupees. You will uh, you will complete these courses. Uh, they have the same study pattern. They also recognize um, in MCI and some of the universities have their uh, branch offices in India and New Delhi. For example, uh, Sharda University, for Lincoln University, you can study for first and second year uh, in India, and then from second year you can continue this Caribbean University. Yes. If you want to give you assembly from this Caribbean countries, it's very easy to market to USA and give you assembly because these all university are uh, US assembly oriented university. So there also be a good options for Caribbean university in future. Okay. Okay. Uh, sir, Kazakh medical industry. Okay. We are starting for Kazakhstan. Okay. Naresh uh, is one of Franco medical industry. Yes. The Ivano Franco medical industry is the very good university. I think. But uh, in Ivano, there's a problem of hostels. So uh, before going to Ivano, you have to think about the livings. University is very strict. University study is very good. But in my personal, as my lots of students are studying there, you have to take care before the flat. I will recommend you to live in flat. And uh, there, they have good mass also. But uh, about the livings, I will not show because the government hostel don't have that much space for students. And you, this student, don't like to live in this hostel. So uh, better to find someone before going to Ivano or contact me I will tell you to whom to contact there for senior students I have my student there to find the flat for you before going there it's a good university okay Kazakh medical university okay now we are going to Kazakh uh, now I'm starting with Kazakhstan Kazakhstan guys see Kazakhstan yeah Kazakhstan see the board the the main city of Kazakhstan is Astana is uh, Almaty okay guys and this is the main capital. I will continue with Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, one map. Okay, guys. See, Almaty, Bishkek, and uh, this, these are the main cities of Kazakhstan. Astana and Almaty, where you, I will recommend you pursue because both are metro city, both have airports. You have direct flight to India, New Delhi, from this flight to Mumbai, to any other destination, or maybe some small cities like Jaipur, like Nakhnau, they have direct flight from here. Okay, guys. So, Kazakhstan, is also a very good destination for the Indian students because they lies in uh, Asia. They have cultures similar like to India. There is only plus point is that they have only 3.5 hour flight from Kazakhstan to India. So it's very easy to travel between India and Kazakhstan, and the tickets are not that much costly. For example, you will get from Astana to New Delhi or from Almaty to Delhi. The flight will cost you only 20 to 25 thousand rupees to and fro. Second plus point is you can your parents can travel to you easily from New Delhi or any other uh, airport from India uh, to Kazakhstan. Uh, they have visa free entry for 72 hours on arrival visa. Like Indians have on our visa to Kazakhstan and. Kazakhstan is also following ECTS system, electronic credit transfer system, the same system which is followed by Ukraine and Georgia and other European countries. So, uh, and there the package is very low as compared to Ukraine and Georgia. This is a plus point why Kazakhstan is more quite popular among India students nowadays because Kazakhstan, uh, one, uh, one rupee of India is equal to six. Tinge, six tinge, six tinge, okay, six tinge of uh, Kazakhstan. So Kazakhstan six times cheaper than India. So it will those people who are looking at the university for budget, those those, those who want to who don't want to spend their time for, for six years, uh, you have uh, you have chance uh, you have chance to. Uh, pursue in your budget in Kazakhstan, get the same degree you will over Ukraine and Georgia. For example, they have five year course, 360 credit, they're finishing in five years as compared to Ukraine and Georgia, uh, Ukraine and some of the universities in Georgia finishing six years. So, guys, this is the very good options. Plus, Kazakhstan is one of the richest country and the, the richest country uh, in his uh, natural resource like petrol and gas and very good strategic partner of uh, Indian government nowadays. So it's very good to study in uh, Kazakhstan nowadays. Okay, I already told about Germany, Ajay. I will also answer this is very good questions. Big difference in India and abroad. So Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan is a very good country. So so guys, uh, be in mind, explore, don't, do not forget to explore Kazakhstan in future. And uh, See, I already told all this information to you. This is the main university. You will uh, this university opted my for, by me. Please make photo of this screenshot to explore in future these universities. Okay. 
I have lots of this universities. So I have a questions now. Germany. Germany, I will told Ajay that Germany uh, is not a good option to choose in your MBBS because uh, it's very not it's not cost effective. You will spend a lot of money in your livings, and believe me, you uh, it's very hard to afford two lakhs rupees or three lakh uh, two point five lakh rupees on living expenses, including flight in uh, Germany because Germany studies free cost. If you fight this examination, language examination, but uh, in order to live there is very costly. So I am recommend to my student to finish your MBBS course in Ukraine for Germany, especially in Ukraine. Then go to PG. Don't then go for PG in Germany. In in that time period, you are not wasting your time in preparing German language. You study MBBS. Parallelly, you are studying German language, clearing your B2 level in Ukraine. It's not that much costly as compared to India. People are charging 14 up to 14 lakh rupees. Here it will cost you one or two lakh rupees B2 level. Then go to Ukraine. Then go to Germany for your PG and get the job there as a medical practitioner. Get your PG degree there and get settled there. So Germany is a good country for settlement, but not on your cost. Okay, Ajay. Why is the big difference? Uh, why is the big difference in India and abroad? Means I think in India fees are very expensive. See guys, why? india is so expensive i will tell you is just because our population is our uh, is about the infrastructure of our medical facilities which our government uh, didn't give any kind of uh, facility from last 45 years from 2019 only they um, make changes in mci to national medical commission from 1956 up to 2019, there was no change in any medical. There was no medical reform in India, and that is why bureaucracy help make people uh, earn more money, uh, and corruptions also arise due to this uh, this unreform of the medical facility in India since 1956. So this year they're starting reform like NMC. One of the main point is next, guys. I will come to next in five in five or ten minutes. I will explain you what is next. So, guys, uh, these are the uh, like uh, there was no medical reform in India since 1956, and uh, due to the lack of infrastructure, we all should have to fight for 70 or 75 thousand nowadays one lakh uh, seeds. 15 lakh people are fighting of competition for uh, one lakh seeds. So, due to the lack of infrastructure in foreign country and that's why most of the private college are charging a lot of money because you know the less the more the demand in market of any kind of product the more the value and the costly the product will be matlab jitna kami hoga bazar ke andar matlab jitna kami hai seeton ka india mein usi tarah se uski rate uski mention ki gayi hai isiliye india ke andar jo hai medical seeds jo hai bahut mehangi hai as compared to abroad mein kya hai Abroad में इंटरेस्ट है बड़े बड़े हैं पॉपुलेशन कम है पॉपुलेशन बहुत कम है तो यहाँ के जो अगर आपके लिए सरप्राइजिंगली इंफॉर्मेशन होगा इतना बड़ा सरप्राइजिंग इंफॉर्मेशन होगा कि अगर सरप्राइजिंगली uh, इंफॉर्मेशन होगा कि आपके पास जो है इंडिया uh, के uh, क्या कहते हैं यहाँ पर आज भी मेडिकल यूनिवर्सिटी के अंदर मेडिकल यूनिवर्सिटी के अंदर जो है एडमिशन ट्वेल्थ की मेरिट भी होते हैं यू आर गेटिंग एडमिशन मेडिकल यूनिवर्सिटी ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ ट्वेल्थ मेरिट Guys, so competition क्यों बना? Due to bureaucracy, due to corruption. That's why India में उसकी बहुत कमी है, demand ज़्यादा है. तो obviously private college इतना महंगा college बेचते हैं. और जो already students हैं, already students हैं, जो उनका backup medical family से है, या backup medical family से है, और जिनका money है. तो as compared to merit students, जिनको seat मिलना चाहिए, उनको private college seat मिल जाता है. और जो पढ़ने वाले हैं, उनको मिल जाता है. और जो student बाकी पढ़ने वाले हैं, Due to lack of the money, they are unable to get a seat. Right? So foreign, now the government has foreign to India has put equity on it. So you have open chance to get admission any MCI recognized countries and universities. So that's why India has got a lot of seats in India. And Ukraine, and Georgia, and Russia have got a lot of seats in Russia. Because they have very big infrastructure but less population. Okay guys. Uh, I'm coming Manish to Russia. Okay. Please share what's, your WhatsApp number. Okay guys. My WhatsApp number, I will give you my uh, WhatsApp number 9198. Please write my WhatsApp number plus 9198. Sorry, sorry, plus 191. Sorry, my WhatsApp number 8938061111. This is my WhatsApp number. 
uh, same to all. This is my WhatsApp number, guys. Eight nine three eight zero six double one double one. This is my one WhatsApp number. Second WhatsApp number is uh, uh, plus three eight zero nine seven plus three eight zero nine seven five seven six one two eight. I'm writing, guys. Plus three eight zero nine seven five seven six one two eight two eight nine. So please write down this all number. This is my WhatsApp. If you want to contact me or my team, they will uh, they will guide you step by step for particular country and particular uh, universities. Can you about Asian Medical University? Oh, Asian Medical University is the one of the very good university in your budget. It is uh, situated in in uh, Kazakhstan. I will show you. Yes, Asian Medical University, Kazakhstan. Uh, recent earlier, it was the cheapest university all of the world among all abroad medical university. The package of first year consists of 5,500 USD that include your university fees, hostel fees, everything. And it is situated in Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan, and the Asian medical university is situated in Kazakhstan nearby, uh, nearby to Bishik, not in capital, but it's about uh, 100 kilometers from Bishik. You have travel to you know to go to this Asian medical university, okay. And this is the package of Asian. Like you are doing all your five years in only 13 lakh rupees. 13 lakh 37,000. Like approximately 14 lakh rupees you are doing your MBBS in Asian Medical Institute. And I will tell you, lots of Indian students pursuing medical there. They also have MCA classes there, uh, organized by the local representative there, local guardian there. And this 14 lakh rupees include your, uh, your uh, fees, your hostel, okay? And what is not excluded, the meal. Okay, rest, other things in Portland, I think. So it's one of the very good institution, very good budget. And guys, you have, do not need to forget that you have to, um, uh, you don't, uh, you have to, uh, like, uh, uh, you have to, uh, like, prepare for next, for now. In if you get admission in 2020, any university, you have to give next after finish you this, uh, your medical MBBS. It doesn't matter. Uh, the main thing, uh, these all universities are following uh, international standard of or, or other international organization like MCI, like FAMER, World Directive of Medical Schools, WHO, ETC. Okay. Second thing, they have the good base of MCI. They are prepping Indian students for their national examination like NEXT or MCI, FMGE. So this is quite enough. And third thing, the main thing is your hard work and your determination to become good and skilled and professional doctors guys without determination you will not become doctor believe me lots of cases i saw your likes i understand but you have to make you determine that you have to become very good and professional doctors kazakhstan i already narish i already explained kazakhstan okay and uh, i will now go in this is the package of uh, packages of uh, kyrgyzstan medical university guys you can make photos oh Jalalabad, Asian Medical University, International School of Medicine, and Kyrgyz State Medical Academy. These all are the pioneer university in these all are the pioneer university in Kyrgyzstan. It's also a good destination. The information is like similar, like is Kazakhstan, 3.5 hours flight from uh, uh, from Bishkek to New Delhi, and uh, on our visa for Indian parents for 72 hours, and the cost of study is very low. Uh, all of the all these universities are recognized most of the international organization like MCI, WHO, PEMAR, UNESCO, UNICEF, every, uh, ETC and it's also be a good option for study and lots of students are studying Indian students are studying today in this university. Okay guys. I already shared my WhatsApp number. You will get my number uh, on the leader education website uh, or this uh, information what we, uh, what we um, shared earlier. Okay, Naresh, we'll contact you. So you do not explain about the okay, okay. So I'm going to university packages, Kazakhstan. Okay, guys. See. Uh, sorry, the slide is missing there. I will tell you verbally because uh, I'm quite professional in Kazakhstan admission also. Kazakhstan uh, fees of the university, listen carefully. The Kazakhstan university fees vary from vary from um, uh, 3500 USD to 4500 USD. It means like uh, 3500 into 74. This uh, 3500 into 74 is 2 lakh 15,000 rupees, 2 lakh 60,000 rupees the fees. 
and uh, 4000 into 74 3 lakh 40000 rupees so the variation of the fees from kazakhstan if you opting kazakhstan as a destination from 2 lakh 50000 60000 rupees to 3 lakh 40000 rupees the fees in most of the all university in kazakhstan the hostel fees is similar because it is regulated by the government is 500 usd maximum 500 usd what is the plus point of russia kazakhstan and Kazakhstan? they have the cheapest hostel fees livings in the hostel for example in russia also you will find everywhere 500 usd maximum the hostel fees in kazakhstan kyrgyzstan also 500 usd is the fees so keep in mind kazakhstan also have five year courses and mbbs courses they are clearing 360 credits as per ects in five years uh, the degree of kazakhstan in recognized almost all international organization in the world so you can easily go for usmly easily go for uh, mci fmg next easily go for everything uh, the the package of kazakhstan uh, varies from naresh the package of kazakhstan varies from 15 lakh rupees to 20 uh, 25 rupees okay for 15 lakhs you can start 225 lakh you can do easily md uh, this mbbs in kazakhstan in this budget so including everything living food from 15 to 25 lakhs this is a budget maximum including tickets including pudding livings everything okay so this is a kazakhstan i'm going to uh, russia guys russia somebody asked me russia okay i will share my whatsapp number you will find the uh, description in the webinar description. Uh, guys, any, uh, any other questions you can ask me now. We have still only 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes left. I will give answer to your questions. Okay, please give me the questions. I will ask, I will answer you regarding everything. If you don't have questions, then I will continue with Russia because people, lots of people ask me Russia. For example, Manish. I'm uh, I'm telling about Russia, okay? MBBS in Russia, guys. As Russia is the old strategic partner of India, and they have very good ties, political ties in in all almost in every aspect, like political, army, ammunition, culture, physical, even the films. Raj Kapoor and Mithun Chakravarti was quite famous in Russia. Is the very popular destination among Indians from last 40 years and i will tell you what university i will suggest to you please go there by blind eyes because lots of students had passed out from this university and it's my personal recommendation depending on the quantity of students are studying there and the method of studying uh, they are uh, proposing and the mci passing rate in my next webinar i will tell you the country wise uh, mci passing rate okay so stay tuned uh so this all are your university what i propose is a very good university because i'm excluding from among these universities all bilingual university in russia i am proposing you i am uh, i will i am giving you idea to uh, uh, explore russia and this university what i'm recommend you there are more than 25 universities in russia who are proposing a mbbs course for industry but most of them are bilingual so i'm not recommending you i'm recommending you only english medium university which are such very good places very good cities and in your budget russia is not that much uh, not uh, that uh, high qual uh, high budget universities but they are very good base old faculties old infrastructure and teachers are quite adapted uh, to the in uh, students this is a plus point of russia advantage of russia is uh, they have very good political ties with india the peoples are uh, peoples like indian students indian pe peoples are uh, feeling comfortable they were they have two embassies indian uh, one is indian embassy second is uh, indian consulate situated in moscow and st petersburg these are very two very big uh, metropolitan city and other city where medical uh, institute are situated are nearby Moscow or nearby St. Petersburg. And yeah, Alia, I smiled about Marisha. Okay, okay, yes, yes, you asked me. I'll I will come back to Maria. Maria also. Okay. Uh, so let's go further for the packages. See, these are the university in Russia. You uh, you can explore about this. Uh, this uh, in this university already lots of students are pursuing. You can find the students through Facebook, through Instagram, and to have the real review of these universities. 
plus uh, these all university are recognized in mci you can search these names in mciindia.org mciindia.org i'm writing this name before choosing anything mci india dot or please go through this website this is the official website of the indian government where you can find all uh, recognized university all uh, recognized uh, university uh, in uh, the abroad okay so these are the university please please make photos so that uh, is very easy to search about this university in future if you will start the explore this university this tiver state medical university siberian state medical university perm state medical university orenburg state medical university mari state university pirogov russian national medical university i am sichonov first moscow state medical university bakshi state medical university crimea federal medical university kazan state medical university kuban state medical university kur state medical university north state medical university nizhny novgorod state medical university and saint petersburg state medical university do not confuse this state saint petersburg state medical university with the saint petersburg pediatric university last year some people um, proposed this saint petersburg pediatric university but guys the saint peter Berg uh, Pediatric Medical University has bilingual courses. Okay, so please do not confuse in the heading. So this is the university which is pursuing from last 30-40 years for Indian students. Saint Petersburg State Medical University. Okay, guys, in Russia. So let's go. And plus, in addition, all this university, Mary, Mary State University and Tver Medical University are one of the best. That is destined and Perm uh, Medical State Medical University are one of the best. Med, uh, good destination for the Indian students. Let's go. These are the package if you want to study in Russian medical universities. I can start from Mari State University because Paul Simulshine asked me about uh, uh, the Mari uh, State Medicine. Sir, this is the package of Mari State Medical University uh, in 2019. For you have first year package consists of 5,500 USD, including of your. Uh, tuition fees hostel fees and other official formalities excluding of your um, your livings uh, your foodings and livings and personal expenditure and this is the package you have to spend throughout this uh, six year in this mari state medical is 19 lakh 60000 rupees if you calculate 28000 usd at the rate of 5500 usd they also have option not university the who is providing the services for Mari State Medical University has the option that you can pay uh, fees in partially or you can pay for six year package uh, uh, directly in order to have a very big discount. For example, instead of 19 lakh rupees, you may pay maybe 14 lakh rupees uh, in starting so that you will save 4 lakh rupees. This is not by the university, I'm telling you true. This is by the company, and the company I know is very genuine and they will help you. Okay. And uh, the more the cheapest university in russia is crimea university the total cost to study six year medical course is one of the best university is 16 lakh 10 lakh rupees if you multiply 23,000 usd at the rate of 70 rupees not 74 okay so these are the uh this is the cheapest university in russia you want to study uh cheapest means nothing is it's not that it's, they're not giving very quality education crimea federal university is one of the best university in all time as my experience before it was the part of ukraine now it's russia but it's depend upon the uh, local admission state wise how they're proposing how they maintain their rates maybe crimea want more intense students for international school that's why they make the fees low earlier it was very high okay and i will recommend university like kazan kuban kurs north state these are the all universities you know and the costliest medical university in russia this is moscow we are saying m1 also i am such a first moscow state medical university the total cost we have to spend for six years 50 more than 54 lakh rupees so guys i will not uh, suggest you to go for this uh, very uh, high budget uh in order to live in moscow we have lots of good university and uh, like Tver, like mari like perm like uh, smolensk night like st peterburg so you will you can offer them in your budget because at the last uh, these all university are preparing you for mci and you have to come back to india to give this next examination guys okay do you have any questions you can ask me armenia okay armenia i'm going to armenia you can see the photos georgia armenia 
see, I don't have Armenia. See, Armenia. Uh, sorry, we don't. I don't I miss uh, miss the flight of Armenia, but I can see verbally. Armenia has only one government university, that is uh, Yerevan State Medical University. Rest of the university, like Saint Teresa, like Yerevan Medical University, Hayabusa Medical University, are the private institution. I am recommending students to join Armenia only medical university. But uh, recently, in earlier, there is a big confusion about the Armenian studies. Some of the agents and consultants propose Armenia as a five-year course, but in reality. It is six year course. So Armenia proposing for six year course. Uh, Armenia has also Indian embassy. Uh, there is no flight from direct flight from Armenia to India. You have to go through either Georgia or go through have transit through Kiev or through some other countries like Dubai or like uh, uh, Istanbul. Okay. So Armenia is uh, has the cheapest package also. Uh, the Yerevan State Medical University fee structure uh, is like two thousand nine hundred three thousand USD. Uh, but Armenia like still growing in medical universities like uh, as per Armenia, but I can only recommend this government university Armenia is Yerevan State Medical University. If you have more questions about Armenia, you can contact to me. I'll step by step I'll guide you for a particular university. So Armenia is also a very small country, it's the safest country. And uh, uh, so you can also choose Armenia as a good destination. So you know, so so it's a very good option but i will recommend you to choose the government university of armenia because other university don't have that much infrastructure and in my i heard recently they're not providing the cadaver to the students as compared to other university okay sir see kazan federal and kazan state medicals are the different universities in uh, russia there's no difference the difference only of package okay kazan federal it depends upon your choice where you want to study okay Kazan state, uh, see Kazan federal and Kazan state. Okay, see Kazan state, we are saying in India and Kazan federal, uh, they, because Russia has a federation, federalization system, not like state system in India, but it's somehow similar uh, things. So I will uh, suggest you to go more explore about this university, Kazan federal. Kazan. There is no uh, difference between them, there is a difference of the infrastructure and the building. Okay, so please explain about. I hope you got all my answers. Now I'm forwarding toward the uh, guys, Georgia. Let's go to Georgia. This is a hostel. Okay, Georgia is one of the safest place in the world where you want, where you can pursue MBBS in the safest priority. The main thing is that Georgia has the population of only four, uh, 40 lakh people. Four million people are living in Georgia. It's a very small country. The main cities of Georgia are uh, Tbilisi, and Batumi. Most of the universities are situated in Georgia, are in Tbilisi and Batumi, but most of them are in Tbilisi. Georgia also have one government university, like uh, the Tbilisi State Medical University. Rest of the university proposed by the consultant agents and me also are our private university. And those who want to pursue US assembly in future, they can uh, opt uh, Georgia as a uh, good option, but you have to clarify before taking admission because uh, most of the university in Georgia proposing CCR courses and most of the university in Georgia proposing five-year courses. So I will tell you the university who are proposing five-year courses because uh, there's no difference between five or six years but this university allow themselves to finish this uh, their infrastructure and faculty allow themselves to finish this uh, uh, 360 credits in five years so but all both of these universities are recognized by the mci if you want to go practice in india you also you can also of georgia if you want to go usa us assembly georgia is a very good destination and i will suggest you to choose for five-year program because there's no difference if you study in five-year program and come back to india for foreign medical examination or this next examination so guys this is germany german uh, Germ georgia has the european culture the safest country recognized in almost all the world international organization like who famer unesco and is one of the popular destination from india people are very good they're very welcoming and this is a package of the uh, approximately package of this university which i ought for you i have big list but I will say to these three universities because already lots of Indian students are studying in this university. These are private institution, but very good infrastructure and very good uh, teaching staff. So Georgia American University, East European University and Tbilisi Open Teaching University. 
and the fourth is new vision medical university these all university have the package similar package they have five year courses and the money you want to spend excluding of food and your personal expenses is almost 20000 us 20 lakh rupees in all of it. but the first year package consists of 6 lakh 37000 rupees 9100 years you have to spare including your fees including your hostel including your mess is include everything everything okay including everything including this here in the package you can yeah, it include everything mass livings food and fees okay right so please make photo of this thing maybe in uh, update in 2020 and soon uh, i have a good news for you uh, in order to overcome this lockdown most of the georgian universities are uh, proposing or soon announce that they can take admissions in first course on the basis of online interview and student can pay their fees uh, through online swift transfer and and pursue online uh, pattern of study and and can travel easy once this covid lockdown will finish so this is a proposal from government uh, private university of georgia so that uh, we can uh, so it's a good hope that if you want don't want to waste time you can take admissions online through this university and you can travel easily once you reach there okay guys uh, now i want to explain you what is next those who left okay uh, depends between okay ah uh, ivan zavashkili tbilisi state medical university ivan zavashkili tbilisi state medical university is all, also a primer uh, premier institution uh, this uh, sorry this was not in my list but it's also a very good university ivan zavashkili is a very good university and second university I can tell you is David uh, David Tivindivali and Akaki uh, Teresteridi State Medical University. These are the few university which are situated in Tbilisi, and you can uh, study. Uh, uh, they have very, but uh, this university I'm not recommending to everyone because they have their package very high. Paul sir, Paul Samuel, uh, their package is very high as compared to other private university. But these are the good institution. If you want to, uh, uh, if you want to know about the detail of package, you can contact me and I will send you uh the uh, packages and uh, i can uh, uh, give you personal guidance for half hour about this georgia and armenia other universities okay sir so it's a very good university ivan zakipshili uh they have all they have package of all what i think so they have pieces is more is about five thousand or six thousand usd i not remember clearly but i will tell you exactly once you contact us okay so please come on out any other questions i'm going to guys next next uh, next uh, uh, next uh, examination see next so this presentation i made myself this is next i will tell you what is next Uh, it's already one hour finished of our uh, webinar. Uh, if you are interested, and lots of people are staying here, if you are interested, I can continue with the next because everyone was interested to know about the next examination. Are you ready? You can say yes in question answer panel, guys. Okay. For me, one person is quite enough to start my presentation. I am motivated. Before starting this presentation, it's my request. It's my request to you that please subscribe my YouTube channel or like my Facebook page because in order to get notified with all important information regarding MBBS abroad, please like and subscribe my YouTube channel because it is motivating me to making new information every time new information about you, searching for you exploring for you so please subscribe my youtube channel the name of the channel is leader education and the name of the page in facebook is leader education so please do not forget to put uh click on bell icon or subscribe in leader education youtube okay guys okay next what is next guys 2019 in august messes a cabinet and presidential rule was out about the reformation of medical council of india act 1956 to make new national medical commission what is national medical commission it is the commission governed by five peoples to reform the medical 
situation and medical facilities in india as after the freedom after the freedom india got freedom there was no reform in medical uh, medicine in medical facilities in india and indian students including who are want to become a doctor and the system is not uh, properly uh, is not uh, like it's not um, like uh, feeling a lack of some if, uh, need, uh, feeling a need of some reform you know to make the study process the competition process the examination process and medical facility including the rural areas then reform mca to national medical commission in 2019 and one of the main point of that is to examine the quality of education of the students and the graduates from indian university and abroad university as you all know before earlier uh, students who are studying in foreign university abroad university they have to come back to india and give have to give the screening test like foreign medical graduate examination but indian graduates who got admissions on the basis of their financial backup in private colleges and there uh, there was no kind of control no kind of screening examination for these indian students i'm not talking about the merit students who got government seat but the people's who took admission on the basis of the money they have. Am I right, oh guys? What? Are you agree with me? I'm polling, shoot a poll. Do you agree with me? See, do you agree with me? That before, out of 60,000, thank you very much, 20, only 20% 20 voted, people, please vote. Before, before, there was no criteria to test these students who got admission through in private college on the basis of the money. What about the students who did hard work in uh, in foreign? And there are lots of bureaucracy and points came fact came out that uh, there was a kind of partiality in uh, partiality in uh, examination. They want to promote the Indian uh, private colleges, want to promote their colleges so that students get admission in their colleges, not going with, uh, uh, beside they will go to foreign for lower budgets. Are you all agree with me, guys? Okay, I got the poll. Yes, yes. So next is a kind of reform in medical education starting from the admission process to the medical providing of medical facility to the rural areas you know that in rural areas uh, without uh, absence of medical facilities abundant of medical facilities people are dying just because of malaria because of normal fever so this all step was taken by okay now is okay now uh, so this, this all, all step was taken by the government to make next what is next see the next is the national exist test purpose of next to make the purpose of next what is the purpose of next uh, proposed by ministry of health one of the main point mci bill single exam for fmg foreign medical graduates and indian graduates pg entrance exam all india so understand so this is a single platform in future this is a uh, single platform in future uh to test the knowledge of foreign medical graduate for indian graduates in order to get the seat in pg so single platform there will be no extra examination to check the knowledge so what is the purpose to overcome the lack of uh, good quality and qualified doctors in india i hope you got my point I already explained that uh, peoples who got admission on the money basis it doesn't mean that they are get they, are, they become good gadgets of uh, uh, good and for qualified doctors because uh, because uh, they took admission on the not not basis of the knowledge they took the admission on the basis of the money they have so there was no screening so this is the purpose to check the knowledge of these peoples because india has 60000 graduates every year but out of 60000 graduates only few peoples only 5 or 6% students uh, graduates are highly and good skill and you understand one uh, we have 1.5 billion population almost and among this 60 from 60 town graduates only uh, three or four thousand graduates are very highly skilled, uh, skilled so what is the future of india okay this is the purpose okay a cost standard of testing knowledge of graduates from india medical college and foreign medical college so this is the main purpose single exam in order to enter in any pg medical programs and get registration in license to practice in india this is the main purpose of guys uh, let's go further 
purpose of next replace other uh, proposed exam like neat pg for md ms programs to fight the corruption in medical education in india to make the admission process transparent with low fees single entrance exam for the ug graduate all over the india neat which include all even uh, even entrance examinations for institute like aims and everything neat they also proposed neat need was uh, proposed earlier also so their single examination for undergraduate course mbbs and there the single examination next for you know to get admission pg better medical facilities facilities in rural parts of india the main purpose refining the most professional and skilled doctors among all mbbs graduate doesn't matter you did your mbbs in foreign or india guys okay this is the next so i will tell you the advantage of the advantages of next if they propose the next for example uh, you will have more skilled and uh, skilled uh, professional doctors because in indian graduates also have to go through this examination and uh, rural areas also have uh, they propose that uh, doctor who, who will uh, pass in uh, first step of uh, next they have to serve three years rural areas in order to get their license to practice in india or you know to get eligible for second part of uh, next exam that is clinical skills okay so three years of internship in rural areas it will make better uh, facility, medical facilities in rural areas and third advantage is that uh, is that to overcome the lack of good and professional uh, doctors as i told you only 60000 graduates in india and only 5 or 10% students are very good and qualified doctors and third and fourth thing to overcome the corruption and bureaucracy what we are what we see practicing today nowadays in private colleges they make their fees low now student will have option to study in india or abroad as per they, if they will, they will not fight their uh, the competition seats so it's all, now it's became equity guys uh, students you have to do you have to fight this uh, quality examination on single platform so there is no partiality now all you have equal rights to study anywhere anywhere you want but the all thing now depend on you only your work hard your hard work will prove you as a good and skilled doctor so this is the very good step in order to take uh, make uh, reform in india and in order you know, to increase the number of good and skilled doctors in india this is the next next will uh, we will have two parts first is clinical knowledge part which have to which indian graduates have to give in their final examination and uh, foreign medical graduate have to give in the uh, once they back from their foreign university to india okay after first step it will consist of three parts is a three day long exam three day long examination every exam will consist of 4.5 to 5 hours it means that it is the analyzing question paper so guys you have to understand if you are opting a medical university in india or in foreign you have to work hard for future believe me you have to determination to become a good doctor and second part will be of practical skill part which you have to give after 3 years of internship guys if you will not clear first part you have to wait for one year and to get enter reentered and uh, after passing the first year if in this examination this next first part examination if you get merit if you top this examination you have full chance to get a pg seat in india without any uh, need of any other another examination and if you just qualify this examination you have to practice in rural year for 3 years in order to get license and practice guys this is the next if you have any question about next you can ask me now and soon in 5 or 10 minutes i am finishing my webinar please ask the question what you have in your mind please i am waiting now we have 7 to 10 minutes question answer uh you're welcome presha maria julius uh, i hope you understand all my <laughs> all my uh, points which i put up in my webinar i have one question can you please answer i launching the poll okay can anybody can vote please okay thank you very much so please from your side also uh, please vote yes thank you thank you we will follow you up surely i am closing the poll
please ask the question i have few four minutes before finishing my webinar please please ask the questions i am waiting for the questions please do subscribe my youtube channel and my facebook page and i will love to help my younger students because it was my dream because when i was a student i remember all difficulty i faced throughout my journey in mbbs abroad the reality is that so it's my dream to help my younger brother and sister to so that they can fulfill their dream to study abroad there are lots of plus and advantages to study abroad okay sir if we qualify next is neat pg also done see neat pg from 2022 is, is, is no more any examination from 2022 they have only examination that is called next there is no pg up to 2022 those who are studying and they know the pattern of neat pg they have chances to clear up to 2022 after 2022 from 2022 there will no pg neat pg next will be the single platform in order to qualify get license or get seat in pg so guys it's a very plus point a very good chance for you if you work hard throughout your 6 year throughout your 4 year for throughout your mbbs you have very good you have a chance to fight this next in one step because all your hard work what all you have to need to do is to study and work hard for your 6 year if you make in life because in india in order to fight the pg you still have to wait for 4 5 years but if you have now you have chance for 2022 for the people who want to take admission this year they have chance if they start prepare from now the next generation they have full chance to get pc seat and in 7 years we will become very professional doctors anywhere in the world but in foreign medical industry you have chance not to practice in india also but in usa also and other countries need pg in the marks base we are getting specialized courses in this year uh, need pg in the marks base we are getting specialized courses in this year. yes see need pg is up to 2022 from 2022 uh, in after 3 years of implementing 2019 next exam will be done next need there will be no need pg this is a single platform next uh, next is the single platform in order to qualify in order to get license to practice in india for indian graduates and fmg and uh, to get seat in india any other questions please ask the questions lots of people are staying hang there It's almost 1.5 five hours. It's like a film. Uh, you can spend this time to see the film, and I'm really glad uh, that uh, and this motivating me to collecting most of information about you guys. So please uh, ask me more questions, or you can uh, next Monday I will be I will be I will be here on my webinar uh, here also, and I have information for you next Saturday the same time 2:30 to 3:30 IST. i will be available on my youtube live where i will not do webinar it's a question answer session you can have you have one week to collect all the questions in your mind what you want to about the fees packages the country everything i will answer you all your questions on youtube live only question and answer session i will have one hour i will available to answer you all your questions uh, the my dear students so please write down uh, youtube channel name as leader education every saturday every saturday 2:30 pm ist i am coming live i am coming live so please write down this time and every monday 2:30 pm ist i am coming live for a webinar okay soon i will start coming live on facebook also i will uh, tell you through facebook okay guys so any other questions is really amazing uh, It's a really amazing webinar. Thank you so much for guidance, sir. Really sweet of you, heads of you, your patience. Oh, it's a it's a really uh, a sense of thankfulness and motivation for me. And um, uh, thank you very much for appreciating me. It make me do uh, and help my society, my community in India more and more. And uh, please contact. Uh, I already share my WhatsApp number, my website, my YouTube, and you can ask me. i'm usually busy in exploring all this question and answer so my team is quite professional to help you okay with any uh, the choosing of the best university and i will wait for you in uh, future in my webinars and lives okay and thank you very much for your presence for your questions it make me drive make me motivated and i found some new questions today and i know my homework on which i have to work and explore and get the genuine information for you if you want to take admission or to do and choose best university in abroad okay
so guys goodbye take care see you on uh, my live session on saturday 2 30 on youtube leader education please do not forget to subscribe bye this is the result See, you can see for now the results, what we have do. First, most of the people are repeating my webinar. And uh, all of the stream, most of the people, 100% people are agree with me with my questions. So this is the results of our today webinar. Okay, goodbye, take care.